Hello once again, our most valued student. My name is Confident and we are continuing with our lesson on analytical geometry and we've done quite a few lessons here. Actually two lessons on the distance formula, distance between two points. And if you have or it's your first time coming in contact with this video or with this channel, guys, go through the lessons I did. You see, it's quite very important because we were doing things of like here we're looking at the quadratic formula at the end we got the answers you know and then the other question again took us to the quadratic formula very important concept that was the distance formula now in the next lesson here we are looking at the midpoint of a line the midpoint of a line i'm not going to prove it but i'm just going to state it so let's say you have a line like this we have done it uh, before, but now it will make sense. Let's say this part is A and that part is B. And then the, the word midpoint means center, remember? That part is C. So now that part A is XA. Now you know how we write this, Y A. What about B? It's what? XB coordinate there and the coordinate of yb if i want that midpoint the midpoint formula you write the capital letter midpoint of a b please make it capital letter is equal to you put the bracket not big you put a bracket yeah it's big it's fine you say x a plus x b and then you divide by two is the average of those two points and then you put comma midpoint is coordinates you put that that thing for the coordinates and then you do the same thing y a plus y b over two then you close that bracket so what is that that is the midpoint formula did you get it what is it it is our mid point formula so you need to get comfortable with that all right so that midpoint is the midpoint we're getting let's make an example it says determine the coordinates m if m is the midpoint of the line segment a p where a is that so we can actually use it already here look at it they are saying a remember this is my x a my y a what about here it's my x b and my y b i can cut that formula to say midpoint m they call it m the midpoint m you can even write a b here still fine is equal to i do this and then i say x a you cut the formula plus x b over two and then you've got y a plus yb over 2 you see that's the formula which is equal to now xa you see it's 2 plus xb it's 8 over 2 and then ya it's 1 plus yb is 3 over 2 that's what you do then equal to now 2 plus this you are saying it's 10 over 2 and the other one is 4 over 2, which is 1 plus 3. Then, you can even use a calculator here. You don't need to go through this part. You can come straight to the answer from here to say 2 plus 8 over 2. Then, using a calculator, this will give you 5. And this will give you 2. So, that is the midpoint M. So, M is 5 and 2. Alright. Difficult? Not really. Let's look at this one. Determine the values of x and y if m52 is the midpoint of the line segment joining the points a and b. Look, a has got that and b has got 8 and y. Let's look at this now. I'm going to take this all together. Determine the values of x and y if m. So m is the midpoint. Let me write that part. M is the midpoint and what is the midpoint 5 2 and then we are also given that a is what see x and 1 so a has coordinates x and 1 
what about B? B has coordinates A and Y. So let's write the statement. Determine the values of X and Y. If M is that, is the midpoint of the line segment joining the points A and B. So we have a line segment like this here. They are saying, pretend or suppose there is a line segment. And that particular line segment, I'm just making a rough idea, guys. It's not accurate. That line segment is A and B. And then they are saying in the center here, you have got M, which is 5, 2. But then they give you X, I mean A is X1, and then B is that 5, 2. You see what I say? And then they come and say, find the X and the Y. B is, okay, not 5, 2. B is 8Y. Here. Yeah. Let me take this a little bit this side. So what is B? B is 8 and Y. Yeah, this is accurate now. So guys, you follow the concept of the midpoint. As you say, what is the midpoint? So midpoint of A, B. The moment they say midpoint, you write the formula. Okay, it's X, A plus X, B over 2, right? y a plus y b over 2 we are there with the midpoint we call to what is our x a so you come here and say okay this will become my x a y a and b remember looking at b which is my x b y b so you need to be sensitive here to say you're dealing with a b forget about this one for now forget about it but of course we know it exists but forget about it for now which is equal to xa it's x we don't know it plus xb is what it's eight then you divide by two you continue ya what is ya it's one plus yb it's y over two see that that's how you write the formula for the midpoint in terms of x and y but guess what we know that midpoint. They told us the midpoint is what? 5 and 2. They told us from here that this was the midpoint. So guess what? Since the midpoint is like that, that is what you now conclude. You are like, okay. So you compare here. You compare coordinates. All right, meaning what? How do you compare? You compare this one. This represents the x. So you're saying, okay, so this particular x plus 8 over 2, this x plus 8 over 2, it was supposed to be 5. You see how it's like? And then the other one, this 1 plus y over 2, it was supposed to give me what? A 2. That's how you solve it then. Then from here, it's a matter of solving for x and y. What do you do? You know, I, I need to get rid of this 2. So here I multiply by 2. What you do on the left, you do on the right. That's how it goes. So you've got your x plus 8 is equal to 10. 8 must join 10. It crosses the equal sign from positive, it will become negative. x is 10 minus 8. And what is x? x is 2 got the x same thing here on the y you multiply by 2 you multiply by 2 so that you get rid of that 2 1 plus y is equal to 2 times 2 4 1 must join 4 from positive to negative so you have y is equal to 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 so y is equal to 3 and then what are they saying here they say it, find the values of x and y then you can say therefore x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3. If you are paying attention, attention, you will see that this is the same answers that we have here. 5, 2. And then for us to get 5, 2, look at this. This was the answer. x was 2, y here was 8, and x, I mean, it was what was it? I mean, 
let me look at it carefully here this question was just playing around us a was 2 1 b is 8 3 let me write it like that a was 2 1 there a was 2 1 b was 8 3 you see there it is the matching y and x there you see so it was just a question that they asked in the reverse so these two questions they were asking in the reverse here they wanted us to find the midpoint 52 but here they gave us the midpoint 52 but they wanted us to find the coordinates so they can ask you simple find the midpoint of a b simple or they give you the midpoint which is 52 they wanted to find the x and the y so that's the concept to use so guys it's a short lesson I, I want to maintain it as a midpoint lesson so in the next lesson it's a gradient lesson so I don't want to mix it so I know it's a very short lesson but I'm going to end it up here join me in the next lesson where we're looking at the gradient of a line thank you